it was pretty much the same, man. You know, I was smoking. He was like a tall, skinny kid, though, growing up. But, you know, we got into a lot of fights, and, you know, he was like rough. He was like the rough kids, you know what I'm saying? Little dirty rough kids flipping on mattresses, and fighting, throwing rocks. You know, it's little kid, kid stuff, man. It's stuff kids used to get into, the little mischievous stuff kids used to get into. You know that, but yeah, Ab was rapping, though. He was rapping way longer than me. He was rapping first. He had like a, a, a little neighborhood buzz at rap. Kev 221 South 52nd Street. I got OPH League Moss. I'm a big fan of OPH AR Red. Thank you for sliding through. Thank you. I appreciate yeah, you sliding man. through. So I wanted to ask you, um, first, what's your thoughts on being here with the art and everything, the culture? It's just give me like a home feeling, man. So I brought my son this time, so you know, stay in view of I could just show him around, explain some stuff to him. You know, it's a great place for that, man. Appreciate y'all for being here, actually. You know, I think y'all doing. I think it's good for the, the youth to see something like this, you know what I'm saying, at a young age and everything. So, um, could you talk talk to us about your upbringing, uh, growing up in North Philadelphia and everything? I mean, typical. Wasn't too crazy, single. Well, I didn't grow up in a single-parent household. I had my mom and my dad, two-parent household. So, you know, it was regular, though, to me. It was regular. We ain't really see, you know, we all was struggling around that time in the 80s, 90s. Everybody was struggling with some kind of addiction, everybody that I knew, parents. So, you know, we didn't see it though. So, we were just being kids, man. I was outside a lot, playing every sport, you know, just being a kid. Mm -hmm. um, how do you think having two parents affected your upbringing? Because I grew up with two parents and... Um, you know, parents gonna do what they could do. They gonna do the best that they can do. I know my parents did and once you once I became a certain age, it's like I was kind of seeing my I was seeing my friends more than I was seeing my parents, so they had like a bigger influence. I wouldn't even say my friends because I was like kind of like the guy that always did what he went. But I'm saying the streets had a a bigger influence. What age was that? What age you start? Say like 12, 13. Yeah, 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 this is Cassidy. I'm at ACAD, 221 South 52nd Street. You already know how they carry it. They got the best products. You need to come and see them, man. I'm about to take some home now. Let's get it easy. From you um, being raised like that, seeing the two-parent household, your mom and your dad, how did that affect you with raising your children? Uh, I try to keep the same, um, the same values. You know the same morals. I try to go about things the, the kind of the same way that they went about it, cause you know they did a great job. It's just that you know, cause I grew up in a strict like Muslim household, so it wasn't really too much. Not to the later years, we wasn't watching. We wasn't allowed to watch TV at all. It was a bunch of just books, and that was cool, cause you know we all excelled. All my siblings excelled in school, so you know I guess it you know prepared us, shaped us, you know for the world. In our in our culture in our community, there's a lot of uh, single parent households. You feel me? Uh, nowadays, uh, people always say that um, you need two parents to strive. People say that a lot. So, what's your thoughts on that? I mean, I don't know if you need two parents to strive. Some people take the one parent thing and use that as motivation to, you know, excel. But I would say that, I mean, you should. I think of two emotionally. Cause if a son growing up without a dad, he gonna be searching for that his whole life. And you know, he might run into the wrong knucklehead, old head, who's just not giving him the right advice. Mess his life all the way up. So I ain't gonna say you need it to succeed. It depends on what you look at as success though. Financially, or like, you know, in America's definition of success, mm -hmm. They kind of make it the where's though. They kind of make it the where's though. You you they don't want two parent households, so you probably can make it that way. But I don't really define success like that. 
one parent, you might have daddy issues, mom issues, you might mess up all your relationships and lose the foundation of family. The two parent household, you know, I'm all my siblings is close. You know, we all close. We all eat at the table together and all that. So the concept of family is still there with us. That's why I don't think, you know, I don't we don't have a dead beat. You know, everybody take care of their kids and you know, I guess that's the I would I'm a yeah, I guess, you know, the two parent household structured that. Um, how was ARF growing up when y'all was kids coming up? It was pretty much the same, man. You know, I was smoking. He was like a tall, skinny kid, though, growing up. But, you know, we got into a lot of fights, and, you know, we was like rough. He was like the rough kids, you know what I'm saying? Little dirty rough kids flipping on mattresses, fighting, throwing rocks. You know, it's little kid, kid stuff, man. It's stuff kids used to get into, the little mischievous stuff kids used to get into. But yeah, Ab was rapping, though. He was rapping way longer than me. He was rapping first. He had, like, a, a, a little neighborhood buzz at rapping early. 